Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another chatty get ready with me. I'm very excited for today's video because I don't know my last chatty get ready with me kind of inspired me to do these more regularly and um, I have another pretty interesting topic slash update that I want to share with you. I thought of maybe doing like a regular sit down more chill video but then I also thought you know what it's makeup related the topic that i want to talk about today so it just made sense to do it in a chatty get ready with me format also i should just quickly grab one brush that i forgot to get okay i forgot to grab my um powder brush basically that i'm going to use first um and like i always do these videos i'm just going to sit down and chat with you while i talk to you about the topic that i have in mind for today so it's a pretty interesting one and it kind of got inspired by a video that I was watching. It was basically a lip swatch video. So um, if you don't, if you guys don't know Erin Nicole TV, uh, that's what her channel name is, but her name is Erin. Uh, she does a ton of perfume content on her channel, which I love, but she also does like makeup related content as well. So she was doing a video, I believe in collaboration with Hourglass for their new lipstick line i forgot what the name of the lipstick line is but um basically this range had like a bunch of um golden like bullets um that's what the packaging was like all golden and then there was one lipstick in this particular line that they were basically claiming it to be like a red lipstick that doesn't have carmine in it so it's like a more vegan alternative and um that kind of got me thinking um because in her video she was talking about how um by the way if you don't know what carmine is to give you a little bit of a background because i know a lot of people who watch me might not be as into um the beauty industry and like ingredients and this and that and stuff so to give you a little bit more background um and to explain to you but ingredients so carmine is something that i've known of i've heard of it's basically a red color pigment that is used in cosmetics so for example lipsticks blushes even eyeshadows so that matter contain carmine um, but carmine is a red color pigment so any um makeup product basically or any cosmetic product that has like a red tint to it may be using carmine to um, get that red color so um this particular ingredient actually comes from crushing um and killing per se um the beetles like those red like ladybugs if you know um those are the red beetles that are killed to create this carmine pigment and it has been used in the cosmetic space for a long 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 time and i mean thousands of beetles are killed to um create one red bullet lipstick is what um, Ellen was speaking about and honestly that broke my heart firstly um, and secondly I was thinking about um, you know how animal cruelty is not just about testing products on rabbits per se you know like that's how that's what um, kind of animal cruelty is associated with in the beauty space and for those of you who are maybe new to my channel or you don't know I'm actually someone who purchases only from brands which are cruelty free when it comes to um, skin care, body care, like bath and body stuff basically and hair care. But when it comes to makeup, it is a little bit difficult to find uh, brands which are like considered cruelty free and to actually find good products and formulations from those brands, brands that I actually like because specifically in the Indian market, I feel like um, there aren't as many options. Um, that there are abroad like abroad I feel like in the US there are many many more brands that are cruelty free in the makeup space as compared to here in India so that's why I was facing a little bit of like a issue with that per se but of course I try my best whenever possible to only purchase from cruelty free brands but it can be hard sometimes but then when I was hearing this and when I was watching this video it got me thinking that um, animal cruelty is not just about 
like which brands test on animals and which don't there's a lot more that goes into it than just that particular like one aspect and then she was speaking about this um so now a lot of brands actually um that you know are vegan etc don't use carmine pigments um uh, i mean don't use carmine as their red pigment there are alternatives out there which are as good which are basically not harming beetles in the process i'm sure those are synthetic pigments but they're just as good if not better and you're not killing beetles in the process which is again very very important so um that kind of got me thinking to which brands i'm supporting which brands i'm using um also i'm looking for my eyebrow product in the process of also filming this video i guess it is not here in my pouch for some reason um maybe i'll grab it later i don't want to like keep getting up again and again while i am filming so oh it's right here it was in the pouch but i didn't notice it so moving on um to what i was speaking about so um there are a lot of like vegan beauty brands and uh, vegan cosmetics basically uh so i always understood what a cruelty free makeup brand is i never understood what a vegan makeup brand is uh up until now i feel like so now my understanding is that a lot of vegan beauty brands basically what they mean is they're not going to be using carmine they're not going to be using beeswax uh or anything that is basically derived from animals so that i think is very very important it's something that more brands need to focus on and we as consumers need to be spending our money and supporting and purchasing from brands um that are doing this now again that's kind of my approach i have never been the person to um kind of push my thoughts um on my subscriber subscribers or my followers or talk about that intensely but it's a message that i want to propagate still without you know being too pushy if that makes any sense so um that's something that i have kind of decided for myself is to be making a more conscious effort and to be doing this and um i am actually not someone who owns a lot of red lipsticks like there's just one that i own which is from mac which i don't know if that contains carmine or not but again it's not going to just make sense to throw something out that you already have um and that's also something i want to talk about is makeup consumption in general and how i'm going to approach things basically from here so um yeah in future if i plan to add more lipsticks into my collection that um uh, you know i'm going to be adding um uh, why did i say it like that basically what i mean is if i plan to buy more lipsticks in the future i'm going to be a little bit more conscious um uh, about which brands i'm going to buy those lipsticks from of course i want the formulation to be nice and for it to work for me um in terms of the longevity in terms of the finish in terms of i hope those lipsticks are not drying etc and of course the price point but apart from that i do want to be supporting and purchasing less and i want to be purchasing and supporting from brands that kind of match my morals and values as well so that's kind of what i'm thinking as of now is the approach that i want to be taking and um that's something that you will see me do on my channel along with that i want to um just be more cautious in general about like makeup consumption and even beauty products in general um and i would love to know your thoughts as well like i am someone who um i've done my fair bit of research but i don't consider myself to be like this um how do you say i would never say ki like just listen to my opinion don't listen to anything else i would always say that take everything that you listen to or you read um to with a grain of salt because there are always caveats there are always exceptions there is always like a back story behind everything so it's important to understand that reasoning 
and if there is anything out there that you feel like you've heard or read and it is not exactly um what i'm saying and maybe um you have an opinion to share you have any information to share any research um that you have seen or heard or read please feel free to share that with me because i am not this encyclopedia of knowledge i'm always learning and growing and um i've been cruelty free in terms of again skin care hair care bath and body since september 2020 so it is now two and a half years is it yeah it's it's almost two and a half years since i've been cruelty free and i think pretty much my entire collection um across all categories apart from makeup obviously is completely cruelty free now at this point and i feel very very good about that um but um i mean things can obviously change opinions can change i was reading and learning a lot about um uh, you know how the laws um uh, are going to be changing with regards to like cruelty free um in the space in general so i was watching this kelly goot video and she was also doing like a chatty get ready with me basically talking about this and i think it was a chatty get ready with me but it was like a q and a chatty get ready with me so she was also speaking about this and i really trust her opinion if i'm being honest uh when it comes to this so um it's something that i'm kind of like very neutral right now i don't want to put very strong opinions out there but in general I just want to be more conscious about which brands I'm purchasing from, repurchasing from, talking on my channel about and using myself also because this is all money that I'm spending. I don't know if you guys know this but I don't get PR from any brand whatsoever. I just don't think I'm at that stage yet even though I would love to be considering that I've been doing this for a long time but I'm still not there yet where I get PR from anyone so everything that you see on my channel is my hard on hard on money and um it is very important that when you're actually spending your own money on things you um are conscious about what you're spending your money on so that is kind of what I wanted to tell you I am pretty much done um I just have to do liner and lipstick but um uh, Yeah I would be curious to like you know know your thoughts down below about this um how you feel what your stance is and I love knowing that um uh, if I'm going to be honest like recently I've been more active on Instagram where I'm posting all the time and um I'm posting about basically everything under the sun like first I used to think that okay if you're a makeup page if you're a skincare beauty page then that's the only thing that you can talk about but i have noticed that instagram can be more forgiving as long as you stay consistent and you post regularly um you can post about anything basically and it's totally okay so now my instagram basically is a way for me to um kind of get to know my followers more um and for them majorly to like get to know me like that's what we are doing right now is me introducing my life my day to day with my followers so like if i am reading uh, i will post about it if i am um you know going through my skincare collection and i want you to help me pick what products you want to see a review of i will post that and if i am going shopping or if i am going to like a perfume store and sniffing perfumes then i will share that also with you um just like small snippets mini re- mini reviews that i did a while back and i will continue doing because you guys actually enjoyed that specifically when i post about like what books i'm reading so many of you guys are uh, you know into it and your messaging me back and asking me uh how a particular book that i'm reading is so i mean i don't know if i would do book reviews here on youtube because i definitely feel like that is something that wouldn't do well i've noticed that in youtube you really have to stick to your niche for your videos to get views and 
for it to do well basically according to the algorithm but on instagram it's way more about consistency special specifically on stories um and i feel like that way i'm able to also connect with my audience way more because i've been really inconsistent like i'm not even trying to uh explain myself or anything i've just been way 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 too inconsistent and i've tried multiple times to get to act in to get back into it post regularly and then i fail and then i come back and i'm like okay i'm going to be consistent now and then i feel again and it's just a circle that keeps repeating keeps repeating okay i cannot talk and do my lipstick at the same time i'm just going to go do my lipstick and i'm going to be right back hey you guys so i'm back did my lipstick completely and also did my hair so yeah that's it for the video i don't really have anything much to say all i want to like say is that whatever i shared today is kind of how i'm feeling how i'm thinking right now um what my thought process is but i want to learn more from you if you have any thoughts and opinions to share i would love to chat about that with you in my instagram dms in this video's comments any way that you can possibly reach me email me dm me comment on my videos chat with me i reply back to you pretty much instantly as soon as i get my notification that one of you guys has commented on my videos i will reply back to you instantly i swear so um yeah definitely do that but that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please go ahead and subscribe i am hoping that in 2023 and this is what i think every year since the past couple of years every year i want to reach my 1000 subscribers mark it would mean so 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 freaking much if i reach that this year i'm hoping for it um and fingers crossed but if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell button which is next to the subscribe button because that way you'll get to know every single time i post a new video my schedule typically is monday wednesday friday and then there's a bonus video up on saturday generally sometimes maybe it is sunday if i'm getting delayed in terms of filming and editing but um, yeah you will see four videos typically three or four videos every single week so come back for those but that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye